30 this morning I've been working a bit so I don't know the exact number here 99 plus but when I go to my um, orders page it can tell me how many orders I have to ship 53 and the actual value so that's a lot it's a lot of big things sold here I sold all those wargs that I parted out and that's it There's five and five so ten of them the same person Along with other Lord of the Rings in there. Handprint. Uh, Yurikai. Rohan Soldier. Lots of goodies. So I'm about three of those in there. This is like a whole zombie lot, pretty much. An Arc Trooper. Uh, another Ring Wraith. Lots of castle. More castle and then. Mandalorians. Lots of uh, ideas. We'll need the poo. Sesame Street. Simpsons. I sold this uh, Green Bay Packers uh, medallion thingy. I think I have two left players. I, I don't even know their names, so probably never will, never will sell. And uh, some uh, Ninja Turtles sold Invisible. He's not invisible here. Well, he will be shortly. He'll be gone. So, wow. What a, what an eBay, eBay weekend. So, gotta get stuff printed out. Move on to Bricklink Brick out here. Oh, man. I wish I didn't look at that dollar amount. That is done. About two hours. I had about half those items pulled Saturday night, so on my desk so it took me about two hours to ship out that much worth of product and to list um, say 100 items it probably take me four hours of my time six hours of my time turns into that obviously the products cost money to buy them but now I have to get to this monster of a job <laughs> it just doesn't seem fair I think the dollar amount is going to be half as much as that, but it's going to take me double the time to do it. But I love it. Alright, gotta hit my link here. Wait for it to load. And see me in the back. 32 orders. Look at the difference. 28 on one platform, 4 on another. That is... Used to be a lot closer in number set. Anyway. 3,115 total items, which isn't bad. 542 lots, which is a lot. And there we go, $871. So it is about half of what the other one was. So March 7th, here we go. It is 6.38 a.m. This horseman torso with the black top is the one you want to look for. He comes with the black plume as well, but that is extremely rare and it makes it way more expensive. But you can put them with the red one. And I don't know. Those are 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks. Woohoo, we sold this guy. Little thing, little set. He's in here. So they had a great idea that, that they did. They built um, the boxes. With plywood just like squares that'll fit these perfectly and they do not have to use the top so that is a great idea um, so basically you just have this in the box you just grab it out um, grab what you need or I don't know how high the top would be to reach your hand in there without having to even move it very far but um, that is a great idea and yeah would have to do all this stuff so um like tetrising it anyway six, six eight three three there it goes all right this next order after that set has a note love your youtube videos thank you supporting the channel with orders 
four or two four four three. This guy's been in here for a while. But he's starting to sell us one a few weeks ago. Four four seven. Gotta get more old space. The old space guys. Smile. 485. Which one do I pick? There's so many of them. That one. I have to replace his legs. Okay. 567. I should I usually take the drawer right out, but for the sake of one hand. There it is. And you gotta have the black container box to go with it. Is it the same drawer? No. 568, there it is. There's a helmet in there. There we go. Awesome order. I love space, and I love castle. Who doesn't? All right, this order is heading to Green Bay. Someone was displaying at the Bay Beach. So they'll get next day shipping for free because it just gets there tomorrow. All right, we're almost at the 8 a.m. mark. We just did order 15. I believe it's the bulkiest. It was 36 lots and 800, a little over 800 items total. So all these, this is the new stuff. And these are all used plates that I recently uploaded. So I love when that happens. And you just did something recently and then the time of it sells, cleared up a lot of room in my my used section that I have room, but uh, that expansion there that's been sitting there for months is going to push back further. If it was even a, a thing I have to do right now. <laughs> anyway, move on. All right, I just took a breakfast break. We're on order 26. It's 93 lots, 100 and, or 1,032 items. So it's now, what, almost 9.30. So, I gotta get this one done. This is the big one of the weekend. Uh, I'm not sure what, I think there's one more left that's over 40 lots or about 40 lots and then the rest are just 10 or less. So there's only six more after this anyway. So I can't turn that backward. So I wanted all four of these. Today. All right, the big one. It's 9:57 a.m. I'm not sure how long it took. It was a chore. There's that. I bagged some up as I went. I had larger quantity, and some of the things I ordered were in bags. So next, order number 35. It was uh, 113 lots or items, 39 lots. 42 bucks, so they bought a lot of the things here that I parted out. It's basically set. These are like eight bucks each, so great, great order here. All right, feels good. Everything is packed up, all 32 orders. So I don't take a break now. I keep on going, push forward to get this, get this uh, spreadsheet out to pirate pirate ship right away, which Ralph does a great job of. So he has this little button up at the top. If I can find my mouse in the screen. There it is. Just gotta click on that. And it creates a spreadsheet. And you go to Pirate Ship. P I R PirateShip.com. Log in. Upload a spreadsheet. And I just gotta save it. Make sure it's all right and then it's all the labels will print within two minutes it'll be done uh, this uh, order here had a message but it was the message was put after the order was placed it wasn't put on the checkout page when you're paying so it doesn't show up in the program i don't it, if it's if it's it, i'm not sure how that would work i think it should have shown up but maybe i'm just forgetting i pulled this order on camera i don't even know but anyway says thanks so much for answering my question on youtube and for having a great channel i wanted to support by getting min some minis from my son's star wars collection i'm hoping to open my own brickling store soon too and your channel has helped me learn so much thanks again 
Awesome. Thank you for the support. You're very welcome. Keep on pumping these out, <laughs> these vlogs. I'll keep on repeating things that I've taught years ago. How long has it been going on? March is two years I've been doing these vlogs this, this March. My first vlog number one came out March of 2020, I believe. Was it 2019? I gotta check that. Well, at some point I hit 200 vlogs. I know some of them probably aren't even in here. So I used to number them. <laughs> like number three, oh, it, three is in a different spot. Yeah, this one is probably actually supposed to be four. I don't know, <laughs> anyway. Uh, but number one, it's a great memory of this one. 2019, so we've been doing these for three years. Wow, that is crazy to think. Three years ago, 36,000 parts of a Bricklink store. <laughs> That's not much. I gave up re-folding uh, these labels. I just left them too wide and it's taken off my, <laughs> my holder there. And... Here's the state of the room. I'm going up for 15 minutes off. So hi everyone again that's now awake. And there's the box of Bricklink. Brickall. And there's eBay. Yes, best feeling when I'm done. Monday mornings, 1200 bucks a day, the last two days in sales. That is mind blowing. All right. So these are the ones that I cannot rebuild. This one, I had two of them in my convention bin, so I just took one right out. That was just under my desk. So one sold online. We'll get them back online and then get another, keep the one that I had. I only had one in my convention bin. I might, might leave it there. I don't know. So it would definitely sell. Put these away and get going on the rest here. All right, it's about time to take a lunch break. Uh, I got all this out. So my job today, I'm gonna sort these parts. Is um, I want all the mini figs, and they're already out of the box. So that is my job today. It's got to get done before I go to Brick World, Indianapolis. So it's definitely a job I want to do. And my daughter said she's gonna open a bunch of these. I think to finish that that stand I have going. Um, she's still doing her school though, obviously. So, I wonder what that's worth. No, it's going to Brick World. Alright, all 20 battle packs. Sorted. Any things there? A whole other sort. I did not take my lunch. I gotta go. Alright, convention. We got seven of the female. Um, Snow Trooper, 8 of the Scout Trooper, and 12 of this, this uh, Snow Trooper. So, the reason why I did it that way, I'll tell you in a minute, but um, so that all that taken care of, I just listed, I just relisted things I sold out on eBay originally. I see that I listed these on January 27th, so about six weeks ago, roughly, I parted this out, this set out already. I only parted out 10 of them, maybe it's 10, maybe 11, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm going to part out four of the Scout Troopers, add, uh, what's the math, four, and then eight, I think this is eight, <laughs> eight left, yeah, make 20, and then there's five of this one left after I relisted them in this lot together, um, and this head is worth a, like a dollar more than the other two, so I decided to part out 12, like that, and we're going to pull up Brickstore and get this all put away. Probably call it a day, it's like 2.45 right now, so and I gotta head to the post office. I'll get those separated and bagged up. I probably won't even do anything with the marble because I just recently parted them so out. I'm just gonna put those in my reserves um, for what I feel like. Uh, obviously after these next two brick worlds in Indianapolis and Milwaukee, I'll determine if I need more. And they were selling a lot. I was actually seeking them out the last brick worlds at Walmart's because I didn't have too many. Uh, but there is there is a little bag of some that were already open, so I will I will process those. Put on Bricklink. Um, let's get this cleaned up. Get the table clear. All right. So I checked. I just checked this on the screen. I think uh, only 14 items I don't have in my store currently, and that's I think the instructions are in that. So so 
there's only 13 new items potentially. Um, I think they're including the minifigs, which obviously there'll be more if so I'm parting them out. I don't have parts for any of these minifigs in my store. They all sold out. I didn't part out very many of them anyway. But anyway, so I got, this is how I set up. I just have a bunch of empty drawers. I have a, I have a feeling a lot of those lots that I already have in my store are going to have to be moved because of the quantity of items here. Well, nothing's really, you know, overloaded too much. There's not too many of them. Like, obviously, this might already be in a big drawer. I don't know. These are that. So we'll see what happens. So I got some bigger ones. Spots open. I got to move stuff. And one other thing, because it's the second time I'm parting it out, I am actually going to put on lower the prices than normal, the last six month sales averages. Um, and, and for that, and the reason is uh, potentially, or anything that is new that I have to add a remark to, I'm going to jack it up 10 to 20% up, up higher, because I know that that part sold out. So I mean, I guess I can show you the ones that sold out. There's that thing sold out. Um, the white 2x4 bricks, the 1x2s there, those bars, the those arms, that 2x2 two two tile, and uh, the white 1x1 one one plates, so guns. I don't know if I ever put those in the store before. Um, I know I, I'm going to keep these ones for sure. I'm going to delete that right now because I don't have too many in my <laughs> reserve. So I'll do that with a couple parts sometimes if I need them. Using them, I've been you know putting guns in the hands of a lot of things for the convention. I like to have accessories and everything. So there's all kinds of different little guns in there, but not too many of those ones. So pretty good on those. Definitely good on those for now. All right, we're already upload. My cost for these was like thirty, not thirty, three hundred dollars <laughs> for twenty sets, and um, so this is without about fifty mini figures. Because I parted out some, add some in this file, but there's uh, like almost 30 here, and then going to the conventions, and then there's over about well, almost 20 that went to eBay, I think. So that is nice time, nice time, time to clean up. I think I'll quickly build all these, put them in the conventions bin, get all this put away, so bag that up, and get out of here for the day. Not sure the last time I did a part check in the store here. We'll give it a shot. See where we're at. 12,360 lots. It hit 390,000. We were at like 380, yeah, it was, it was like 388 something this morning when I started pulling orders. Early morning Tuesday. Got everything pulled for eBay here. It's a total of 20 items and like 10 orders something. Our castle, I just keep going. Keep listening, keep going. This is the biggest order. This is like 50 for that and we're close to 70 for that guy. So, there you go. That works. That works good. All right, let's check our stats here for March the 8th. What we gotta do now, 12 Bricklink orders, two Brick Owl. Really a difference there. 430, it's really low items. 553 items total, 134 lots. 278 lower than normal that I've been experiencing, but um, that's all right. We're gonna do this, get this going, and then I got some parts I'll be adding to Bricklink. Here we go, Dad doing Dad things. 6 a.m. Uh, we got two packs of eight, which is 16. Family of five. We only can eat 15, so I have to somehow make this one disappear. So there's no fighting over it. Order number two of the day. No, number three. Number two is just one item. <laughs> it's going out to the Unicorn Wizard. Got this new Eternals figure there. This is uh, who sent me this. Me and Lloyd with Piece of Basement. It's awesome. It's an awesome order. All right, order number 12 of 14 as a note. I came here for, dun dun dun, the air tanks. Keep up the good work. I watch your YouTube each week. Hashtag love it. Thank you. Awesome. We'll pull this order. Why not? Two, five, five, eight. See, I never, I never reset my cart. I always end it right here with all the bags I have organized by size. There's some larger ones, and then I've been keeping the uh, the ones here to reseal them. Just, I just put like ten, 
this is this was all the bags yesterday from the Hoth uh, or the Snow Trooper Battle Trap Pack set, I guess it's called, because it's kind of hard to find on Bricklink if you don't put in Snow Trooper Battle Pack. It's not Hoth. <laughs> is it two five five eight? Got to get down there. Hermione. Space bar to the next three, four, seven, seven. I just pulled this in the last order. Dumbledore. Three, nine, two, eight is going to be right over here. Some of these are built, some aren't. I'll, get to, I'll try to keep it consistent with the unbuilt ones. That's in our store terms. New minifigs make come built. Because I used that's how I started doing it, but then I switched over to not building them. But sometimes when I buy them, they're built already, so I have to keep them built. Two, three, four. One seventeen is six. I gotta count a lot of things coming up, but um I don't see your tanks. <laughs> I guess we're talking about these breathing at hose helmet with the breathing breathing hose. It came for the air tanks. Am I missing something? Is it an inside joke? He came for one item and I bought a bunch. <laughs> I do that all the time. Two eighty-seven is twelve. We're hanging out with the Gungan heads, so we'll count those up. Oh, that's all it looks like I, that's all I have. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we'll count those hands in a moment. Make sure I get, these, get these back in the drawer. So I'll grab 325. Count out 40 of those in a moment, and then I gotta go 409 is 10 nice with this program I can still see the quantity there just does, does, does you can't see the drawer number or anything at that point two three five if I cleaned out my firefighter drawer about a month ago so that's where all this came from and they usually sell all the parts I put up um, takes them a couple months but they do all right we're counting out 40 of these and here's your order, plus 40 of those. Thank you so much. All right, final order at 6.55 a.m. I never got my uh, coffee yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to actually get these out the door and then take a quick break. But, but all those from Vision, from the Marvel Studios, this is a six lot, 36 item order for $53.03. That's all of it. All right, breakfast is had. The first breakfast. Hoping I'll get called up for another one later. And I kind of got my coffee. And I got the mail. I already went through one. It was just some guns and a couple things. Um, so I'm going to take one by one right now. Ooh, electro. Yeah, I got this other electro head here, but his other parts expensive so I'm just collecting what I can of Electro because he is becoming hard to find. What's this? Thank you. Please enjoy this random Harry Potter sticker. Canopolis Bricks Stark. It's a random Harry Potter sticker? You never know. I would never know. Thanks for letting me know. I came here for these uh, blue diver guys. I saw them with the red one. They came with uh, you know, one of those target cubes. You know, I was down on my last one, so someone had four at a good price. But once I run out of these, I probably won't relist it because they're just, I don't know, it's worked fine. It. And this is from Ralph Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica. He's got his card in there with the order number. He took the effort to write it down and check its brick link. And he put that in there too. It is brick link. I use color on mine. He's not as fancy. So, anyway, what 
I came here for one specific torso. It's a nice bag I can reuse. He didn't re he didn't use one of those fifty times overused bags, so that was good. Did I just seal it? No. What kind of bag? It's a trick bag. He's tricking me with this bag. I'm just gonna set this down. <laughs> it doesn't open. It's a trick bag. Okay, now it's open. I had to make myself like a fool. Whoa! Come on. Get in there. Anyway. So I just had to fill. I needed these for the Series 8 Diver. I didn't have any 1x1 plates. Dark, dark bluish gray. And he did a question whether this was a good, because it had a crease in it, where it bends. It was folded, but this is how these are. This is the vampire cape. It's just when you put them on, they get really bendy. It's used. It's used, yeah. Oh, I think I can... Uh, I think he, he must have put that in there like that, because that is... Did I even buy that? Anyway, um, there's the crux. That's why I came here. So, and then I just stocked up on some mini things from even your stand. I don't know. <clears throat> They're like under all under two dollars each. So, not sure exactly where they'll go in my stand, but uh, not sure why I bought this. It's three bucks. I'll take that to Brick World. Why not? All right, so he is completed, and I think I'm gonna take him to Brick World. I know he does; he'd probably do well better on eBay, but I just want some really stunning figures. I don't have too many that are like over forty bucks or forty bucks or so. He's done. Save the cape. I got this on another Bricklink order. Face looks nice for a leprechaun, but it's not the correct face for the Series 6 leprechaun. So I cannot complete him. That's all I needed. I had, I had everything but his head in another waiting for parts. But I'm, I also put him on there, the complete figure. So I went ahead. Oh, I guess I got a complete one. I'll get a head later. I have another one. Fail. So why did Ralph put that on a sticker on in my order? So I've told him a story. I guess you got to look at his vlog. See what the story was. It maybe goes along with that. I don't know. But that's my comment. Part of it right there. So I'm just relisting what sold out. This gargoyle it would be in here. If I have anywhere. It was came in one of these packs. On the magazine. I don't know if I have any. But, um, definitely want to take some of these brick worlds. I already pulled out a few things, that's why I've got to grab the camera. Oh, I got some. Here we go. I thought I had some. Let's get them up. All these flowers are taken. We'll take those out. I know I ran out of his head. So it's a rare head, this Bane set of bark. I'll put out five of those. So, adding more work to myself. And that, I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Get all this. This one I just like overflow extra so I have too much right I overflow just and do this like a Should probably take these racks out of here. There's no reason for those to be here. I throw all those space that I got before. We're getting down there, but I keep those in there. Look for some things that I had last time. We got a few extra Ghostbusters. Um, so as they sell out, I know they're coming here and look for them. Got some extra fossils. I guess these guys are different. They're different, so they rephotograph these. All right, getting around to uh, getting this off the floor. So I'm gonna put these in a bin. Don't really need to do much with them. I got a ton already. I just wanted to get more for later. And there was no goodies in here. Nice. Ooh, that's a cool one. Scuba J. Brick World Bound. Alright, 
got seven farmers. I parted it out four, added three complete. Pigs are worth a lot. Pigs are worth more than I paid for these like months ago, but very good upload. All right, job number one, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. So it's 15 of these. These ones, just gotta take care of them. Get the minifigs out and then move to the next one. All right, so I've been doing the minifigs first. Usually I used to do it last, but Brick Store helps you do it first. So um, I get the question quite a bit, how do I determine what goes where, what minifigs? I have 15 sets. It's all a gut feeling mostly, just kind of from experience more or less. So the only thing going to eBay is five drowned zombies. Got to photograph them. They're out of here. Then we got six of them, convention, four complete, and that takes care of that. And then with Alex, five to convention, uh, four complete, and the rest are being six parted out here. So I don't know. It's just how I and all the puffer fish. I'm not even gonna build them. Build all the parts of the MS store from once I build them. I thought about putting them, building some, putting them in lower cost bins, but I don't know how well they would sell, and I don't really need if I definitely need the product. I probably would do that. Um, yeah. Why do I do it this way? I don't feel like this is going to sell well on eBay, so I'm putting, not putting any there. I mean, the legs are really good. Helmet's pretty good. It probably could. You'd probably get five, six dollars. I can mess with it. They're going for three uh, without the sword, obviously, on, on Brooklink. All right, so everything but those 11 figures are uploaded. Um, I did know I did run into one thing with these uh, these here. It said there was 45 because it is adding an extra one, and there's only 30. So these do not come as an extra piece in the set. If they they did say that, I don't know. Um, Let's see if it shows it here is a set inventory in the bottom it did it is listing it under extra items so I did not get any extra of those let's see make sure it says two yeah I had, I had exactly 30 I had 15 sets I had 30 of these so that is something to watch out for anyway so yeah it's not like a massively great part out value but it's quick and easy um, if I were to add those other uh, 15 plus about 45 more dollars added, so 275, paid 150 for it. So actually, it's, it's quite bad, um, but it's all right. Oh I, oh, I have five more too for for eBay, so I don't know 300. So it's about a 2.0, maybe maybe not. Anyway, uploaded. When you get to the point of how big this store is that I have, it, the part of values are not as important. It's just getting the getting stock, honestly. Um, but you obviously want to be smart with what you purchase with your capital and put the put the we'll put this away and get the next set. All right, groups of five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six. Exploding creepers coming down the pipe. All right, this one's only two bags, and it's only 72 pieces. Um, is it better than the other one? You don't get a helmet for Steve or any different pants, so that's kind of a bust. Um, chicken is more useful than a small puffer fish, for sure, and a pig is more useful than a large puffer fish. And that exploding creeper is better than the drowning zombie, in my opinion. So you get less pieces, 10 less parts per set. They, these just come right in the box without a bag. Um, but I don't know. Is this part of the creeper? Yeah, he's got that, the two tiles on the sides. Very nice. I like it. Let's go, sorting time. All right, getting through the end of it here. I got interrupted by one massive mail day. That is um, about eleven hundred dollars worth of mail. So, I'll have to get to that tomorrow, or maybe if I get this done, I'll start going through it. We'll find out what's in there a little later. All right, got all the minifig stuff gathered. I brought in uh, seven complete 
armors and then just five helmets for different scenarios for Steve because how, how much can you do with so many Steves in the world all the parts that are sorted otherwise here that are not part of the, the figures there um, it's on I just want to check this so again these were $8.99 for most of them that I paid I got some at Kohl's with Kohl's cash so it was like 20% off of the $10 they were so again not the greatest part up but the minifig I'm thinking the creeper I can get six dollars for and I think this is only I'm not sure actually what it is um, anyway but it's adding 20 new lots and uh, we're gonna do this uh, actually here we go creeper should be right here actually it's six dollars so this is weird this is well this isn't all the parts because I, I changed some of these numbers for quantity so I don't mess it up but it's 400 and what I paid is like 225 for everything roughly so it's already at that without even with with only one minifig of each of these one parted out and one complete so that's we'll see what we get obviously gonna take some out for the conventions but um, yeah it's not bad it's quick and easy all right minifig status report this is all going to convention right here that's what I got so 10 creepers these are going for photographs 10 creepers five well actually that's 10 pigs and lots of two. Oh, did four complete creepers parted out two some complete steves uh, 20 completed ducks chickens or chickens yeah I should know that um, I parted out six of them so and now we're gonna put these parts away Maybe get to some mail. That's still early. I should be all cleaned up by 1.45 out of this and out of the next task. It's one of those sunshiny days that I am just down here freezing. And then we have a we have a thermometer. It's just above 60 down here. Alright. We are uh, in here. 1758 items. $342 so let's say it's cost me about $225 for everything I want to estimate with some free stuff from coupon stuff I don't know and these are not included in the number these are all going to be put away photo bin and then convention so let's check our numbers it's got to put this away and then take a quick break start going through the mail as it is now 1.30 right now so it's not much more to do get to the mail section let's see where what we're gonna be at I don't know if that's the right number it takes a minute it is 393,358 now tomorrow I do have help coming so depending on how many <laughs> orders we get how many parts sell I don't think I'll like make it to 400,000 but what are we parting out oh we're parting out all of these think there's 12 there's possibly 13 and then we're gonna part out these there's 12 I know there's 12 of these so don't know I'll quite make it actually I probably could but it doesn't matter it's just a number the goal is to sell it whether you get to that hundred four hundred thousand or not the goal is to get as much as you can efficiently and keep on plugging away box one um, box two, pack three, box four. Um, I don't know which one to go to. I know which one I want to do. We're gonna random.org this thing. Which one are we gonna get? Oh, number four. Here we go. There's number four. So I came to this store for this amazing looking Barbie doll. It's just amazing. It's, is it even Barbie? Is that even Lego? What is happening here? Why did I buy this? Oh my goodness, someone help me. I need help big time. Whew, anyway. Oh, I came to this store exactly for these pieces. Tactical Batman. And I've, me not being, thinking, I, I thought I had, I'm like, I need to make sure that these are in good condition before I actually <laughs> go through with this, but I didn't. So I'm hoping they are. Look at this cool poly bag. 
I just, you know, obviously this is uh, from Germany, and they charge $38 shipping. They did DHL, so that's their lowest they can do. It's the only one they're going to ship through. Like, whatever. So I ended up, I started out with like $40, and I ended up getting, I don't know. What series is this? I've never parted this one out, so that is good. My daughter's asking for more work, so. Um, so I ended up getting 130 This is like almost 30 bucks. This is the other Time Twin. This is the other one that, that I have the older guy. That's the younger person. So, I don't know why I got this. Oh, this guy is pretty cool. I don't know who he is directly, but it looks pretty cool. I got a couple of these guys. And, I don't know, this Nexo Knights thing. This thing is so rare. It's one of the rarest things I've ever seen. It's extremely rare. So, anyway, this shouldn't take me too long. Um... And then I'll probably go to this one. This is probably the most in-depth, time-consuming one in here. So uh, it's from a store that just closed. I'm sad to see it go. I'll have to see how many orders I placed in the store. I think it was over 70. And now they're done. It's a sad day. What do I do with this poly bag? I should park this out? No. Convention it. Are there any Batmans? more expensive than this one. That other one from the Tumblr was quite expensive. I don't know if it's this expensive, but that is a good, good Batman there. That's why I went there. So the sale of this will cover the shipping costs and everything else, so had to make it worth it. We have identified um, the victim here, Emma Scala Young, female doll. Uh, 3200, 3217, 3143. Out. <music> Thank you.